I leave the workshop for 20 minutes and an electric stainless steel moke is back together. So here's some details. Uh, you can see that the whole body then drops over the subframe and interconnected chassis, the very unique thing about this moke variant. Um, there is quite a bit more space, more <laughs> space than in the Mini. Uh, it is all relative, of course. We're talking about uh, a few centimetres, cubic centimetres more space. Um, but there is some other variations too in the way that we're doing the uh, brake master cylinder here, the vertical one, and we'll do a remote mount uh, booster for this. Uh, the battery pack is of course not in, so you can see more of the things like the vacuum pump, the VCU hidden under there, um, obviously all the gearbox and the motor. Um, and a little tiny radiator, which is always fun to see. Uh, the other thing too is now you can see how the bi-directional charger is hidden uh, under this side pod and that'll have a protection under there as well. This uh, sort of pontoon pod area will be taken up by the charge port and this will actually be under a uh, gas strut that will lift up like so um, to give you access to the port this way because there's you know we don't want to mess up these clean lines by putting a big hole in it you already had these kind of lidded sections we can open it a different way and make charging quite kind of cool and easy you know part of it uh, part of having a unique classic car that is electric is to um, pull up to a charging station and, and kind of show off not that that's the point that you build them for but it's one of the perks so uh, like I pointed out some other some other some of the other cool stuff um, the rear subframe is bolted in we just pull out these little panels to get to that um, you can see the width of these these wheels uh, now in here under the the new widened wheel arches. Obviously this is sitting at its maximum kind of uh, drop, suspension drop, because it's on the hoist. So that, that little gap there will close up a little bit and the car will be even lower. Uh, the bumpers are to come. This is the sort of unusual thing about the rear of these is that they have sort of all this structure, um, not just the normal subframe, but this extra chassis on the stainless steel one. Nothing to do with our electrification. And in fact, the mounting system, if I get right under here, all this is the mounting plate for the rear battery pack that's about to bolt up into here. So um, we'll be adding a tubular rear bumper as well as the tubular front bumper and the tubular hoop that will support the seatbelt structure.